is going on you guys it is me Ra. it is she Ra. it is vera it is scorpion red tarot thank you so much for clicking this video and coming to chill with your girl what's popping what's popping what's popping what's popping what's going on um, I want to give a shout out to all my OGs. I want to give a shout out to all my newbies. I want to give a shout out to every last one of my babies for coming through, like, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video. I missed you guys. You guys know I was in school, so I had to take a break. And I am back for a short period of time. Um, I will be going back in school in September, so you guys will not be getting too many video uploads from me when I get back at school because baby school is no joke and I be needing to focus okay hello I am reloaded hello shout out to everybody that be <laughs> that works that is a, a full-time parent and I mean full-time parent full-time job and you doing part-time school shout out to y'all because I know that y'all understand what I was going through okay girl because it was real and i was trying to take two classes too i don't know what the hell i was thinking about girl okay anyway but i'm refreshed and i am reloaded okay so you know before we get into um any energy here um number one let me explain what we got going on on this table we have a, a two for one uh special going on right here we you you getting a two for one with these readings okay so you get to pick two groups you guys two groups okay this first row here is general energy finance and career and down here is who is crushing on you okay who is crushing on you boo all right so pick a card up here pick a, a pile general energy finances and career and then you're going to pick another group down here on who is crushing on you okay so but before we get into any energy before we get into any guidance, you know we got to give Father God's praise and uh, we got to recognize him and give him thanks for just bringing us here collectively and just blessing us. So if you wouldn't mind just taking a second and bowing your head, Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here. We thank you so much for spreading your love across the collective and just guiding us every day, giving us the hopes and dreams to keep pushing forward, Father God, and opening all of these new wonderful doors. 2024 has been amazing thus far, and we know we got many, many more blessings to look forward in the future, Father God. We wanted to get, um, you know, guidance here on our general energy and career. We just want to see where we at, you know, what we can look forward to in regards to our finance and career to just, you know, strengthen our foundation, Father God. And we want to find out, you know, who's crushing on us, who got, you know, they eye on us, what we can expect in love. So, Father God, we thank you again for uplifting us and enriching our life and just, again, just being the pillar, okay? Just being that person that we can lean on that person that we can trust that person that we always get that nurturing for you always give us signs you always give us guidance and you're teaching us how to just tune into our own gifts and our intuition and father god we thank you so much for just you know continuing to push us forward father god because you know we be wanting something for ourselves, but Father, you be wanting something way better than anything we could possibly even thinking. So we thank you so much for loving us the way that you do, Father God. Please give us the guidance that we're looking for today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. And you already know what we're going to say, Father God. Thank you for being a friend. Boom, 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 boom. Travel round the road and back again. Boom, boom. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Thank you for being a friend. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Okay, come on. We is reloaded. Oh, God, you was amazing. You was amazing. You is amazing. Okay, Father. So, listen. I'm going to add the thumbnail in right here. All right, the thumbnail is going to be right here. So, now that we're back, I hope that you guys got a chance to really tap into these groups, see which one you guys are feeling. I'm just going to hold up the bracelets real quick. So, for the general energy, finance, and career, this is group number one. Alright, and as you see, you got the little seashells right there. Group number two. Alright. We got group number three. 
we got group number four. All right. And the who is crushing on you. We got group number one. We got group number two. We got group number three. And group number four. All right. Okay. I am reloaded. So let's move these babies on over here. My dear, let's move these babies on over here. No, actually, how about we just move them up? It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot, a lot, a lot of sense. That's exactly what we're going to do. All right. Now that we got ourselves all situated here. I'm sorry. That's that Virgo. It's that Virgo in me. Everything got to look straight. Everything got to look perfect. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's a freaking perfectionist. All right. So group number one. Let's get into it. Let's have some fun. So if you picked this crystal bracelet with these beautiful seashells. Alright, this is your reading, okay? So let's get into this. Let me just put this on over here. Alright, so for the center energy, you got challenges. Oh, goodness, you got challenges. Let's see what this says. Unbearable situation throw you directly into God's arms if you're open. Please take over, Divine, and guide us to the right actions. Please take this burden and show and show me your will. I said, sometimes when you be going through things, it throw you right into God's arms. And it teach you how to just, you know, find that comfort and knowing that you're covered and you're protected. And let, and let God take over. Oh, you got that shark energy. <laughs> Hold on, Apex Predator, because you be ready to be on the attack. You about to tear somebody ass to fuck up at <laughs> group one. You about to tear somebody ass up, okay? You definitely might be a water sign. This is definitely giving Scorpio energy because you know we be ready to be on the attack and revenge. And <laughs> I seen on the internet the other day, they said no Scorpios, they going to run to the fight. Okay, they gonna run to the fight. Okay, so there's some challenge going on, and I definitely feel that you about to, you about to spank somebody ass. You not scared. You're not intimidated. And I feel like you pack a mean bite. I feel like on uh, a verbal level, on a verbal level, you can like verbally assassinate someone and really get someone in their feelings. Really, really get someone in their feelings. And I feel like right now, it's like while you're going through whatever this challenge is, like, don't respond. So, I like how you got the teacher and the beauty here. I feel like God is going to teach you how to deal with this situation in grace and to maintain your beauty and your place. Don't let, no, hold on. I don't know if y'all know who Lonnie B is. If y'all know who Lonnie B is, you know Lonnie says, don't let no bitch upset you. Let no bitch upset you. All right? So God is going to teach you how to deal with this with grace and beauty. All right? Not a hair will be touched on your beautiful ass head, honey. Do you understand? So hold on. Because you was about to tear somebody ass up. You got, <laughs> you got the wheel of fortune and the lover's card. I feel okay, this is, and these are two major arcanas. So there's major changes, like things are definitely turning around in your favor. You are finding connections that really, really benefit you. They're mutual. You have a lot of options there with the lover's card. I feel like the Lord, the divine has given you some good options, some choices to pick from. Everything is turned around. 
Everything is looking very good for you. But sometimes blessings don't come without challenges. It may be somebody upset about the new resources available to you. And then you got the stork in the home as well. The stork represents changes too. It represents like new beginnings, new like there's some type of new development, some new birth, like a gift that is being given to your home. Something new that you have to take care of and nurture. It uh, like the stork represents some type of responsibility. Hmm. So with all of that being said for me, there may be a challenge that just came into your house home. It has something to do with your peace your stability and things like that that I I heard I, I'm hearing it's like you want to hunt for somebody like you want to hunt cuz like this I I'm just hearing it's, it's like big Scorpio energy <laughs> like somebody did something to you and you have all of the intentions of paying somebody back it's like you're going to pay that energy forward. You did it to me, and I'm going to do that shit to you tenfold. You should have never said shit to me. You should have never tried to set me up. You should have never, like, fake try to be my friend. It's something about someone is about to learn a valuable lesson. Or they were about to. Because someone made a vital mistake in crossing you. That's, I, that's what I'm getting with this. It's like someone wants to taste blood. And I don't mean to make it sound like so dark like that. But this is somebody, it's like an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. But God is teaching you how to maintain your essence and your peace. It's like you have to like calm down that uh, need to react all of the time. The need to say something. I feel like you just, I feel like your presence in general, you may intimidate people in general. And so when you step into the room, people might um, carry their self with you in a certain way because they're already on defensive mode. Because you may come off, like I say, like an apex predator or whatever, like... I don't know why I feel like some people feel like they have to be careful of how they move and what they say or what they say around you because you are somebody that you really have to be able to trust somebody in order for you to let people into your circle. So for you to feel like you might have developed a relationship with somebody or a friendship with somebody or it being like a business colleague or something and they may be saying something. I feel like some people may be saying it's like some I, I just heard some real backbiting fucked up shit that anybody would be defensive about. God, what is going on? Can y'all tell me what is going on? Again, cause look at this. I'm getting like a dark beauty. It's just like you have a very rough edge about you but you are just naturally freaking beauty and it's you have like a rebel like your uh prototype might just be like the female rebel very smart very intelligent but you speak up for yourself and you demand respect um you definitely it's like I'm main character energy I'm the leader I am you know, and a lot of people look up to you because you were so beautiful, but you were smart and you carried this empowerment, dominant energy with you. So, gosh. And with this teacher energy as well, it's like people may be a student under your tutelage. So, I don't know if you are like a manager, you're a leader, you're something like... I just heard it's like someone has like sharp words for you. I want to read directly from this book here to see what they're saying about the show. Oh, it just pulled right up to the shark too. Boom. It's, it pulled right to the shark. Okay. It says, 
directness, exposure, revealing the true nature and desire. I, since the shark is not only dangerous when we don't acknowledge it, this card indicates that something big needs to be exposed. It's lurking in the depths and creating tension. The shark energy takes over us when we are hesitant to be honest, to be totally ourselves, or to say what we really want. It may be tempting to continue to pretend nothing is wrong, but when the shark energy is at play, we feel its presence is encircling us. When imbalance is intriguing, captivating, and mysterious. When out of balance, sneaky and destructive. To bring the balance, just be honest. I feel like you guys, um, I feel like you guys really need to reach inside and like talk to God because I feel like you just, you can be honest, but soften the approach. Do you understand what I'm saying? So people will really be able to listen to you. It's like, there's a, there's a way that you can teach and educate people with beauty and grace and that you can say what you need to say and make your point without um, hurting nobody. Like you don't have to say hurtful words, but you can be very direct and to the point and professional, prim and proper with it. Because it's like I feel like people not expecting you to come like that. It's like someone think that you're going to be retaliatory because of something that was done or something that was said about you and that's why it's like again I'm gonna read this unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you are open please take over divine and guide the right actions please take this burden and show me your will God is going to give you the answers. He's going to show. He is going to take you right under his arms. And he's going to calm that nerve in your chest where you just want to be like, you know what I'm saying? He's going to show you. He's going to show you because at the end of the day, you're a shark. When you're in the room, they got to respect your presence anyway. It's something about a smooth approach. It says beauty. Embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see who you really are. And they said something about that in here too. Let the world see who you really are. Consider careers doing hair, jewelry, clothing, or any job that enhances other beauties. Or others' beauties. Your inner world must, must match your outer world for things to change. Show people who you really are. But again, with grace and elegance. With grace and elegance. I heard it, it's what's they saying? Something like you attract more people with honey than something else or whatever. But it says the teacher, you have the ability to motivate others to strive to uncover their true potential. Consider careers in teaching, coaching, mentorship, or being a motivational speaker. You learn much about money. This time, this is the time. To put it into practice. You've learned much about money. This is a time to put it into practice. I do feel like you guys might be some type of motivational coach. You guys might be in, you know, the beauty field. Or like beauty, makeup, style. Like a lifestyle guru. I love those pages of women that they just go buy certain things from Walmart or whatever and they'll show you how to take like a $50 budget at Walmart and put together a nice little outfit with some other stuff in their closet and jazz it up with accessories and stuff like that. Like to ball on a budget. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys may be very fashionable. You're very unique. You have an amazing personality. Like I feel like a lot of people are attracted to you. I feel like someone may be calling you very soon or approaching you very soon with a unique opportunity or again just like maybe being very flirtatious with you. I feel like it's someone that you're very, very attracted to. It's like a mutual connection. This is someone that you can um, 
discuss your dreams, your aspirations. They can add something to it. It's someone that is like a good balance of back and forth, like a very supportive energy. Because sometimes, you know, you can meet someone or even in business and in and, and career or whatever. And it's like you really don't want to open up and tell people about your business ideas because you don't want nobody to take nothing from you. But then at the same time, you don't want to talk to people that really don't have any suitable conversation to contribute to the idea. So it's like I'm talking to a brick wall or somebody like, you know, so. You're finding people and you're connecting with people that um, are in similar career fields as you or have similar, um, like their craftsmanship. It may not be on the level of what you do, but it can support what you do. Like you may, uh, like I say, you might do social media and everything, but this person may do uh, graphic arts or whatever. So they may be able to help you with your merch line, you know? So it's like you're making a lot of connections that make a lot of sense. And that's going to create a lot of growth for you. So I, I feel like you guys are meeting new friends. New friends. It says change, destiny, turning path, good luck, romance, partnership, duality, union. And then you have the house in the store. So again, for this group, I feel like there's a new sense of responsibility and blessings coming into your house because the store represents like new birth. Um, it could be a child, pregnancy, um, could like I said, a lover. You could be have. I mean, it could be like a new love connection. Um, even though this is just you know this is general energy, but yeah, you guys could be. Falling, like there could be major, major changes. These are two major arcana cards. And again, this has to do with your house, home, and growth and development in your house. And the stork to me is someone that is tall. Extremely tall. I feel like it's someone that on looks and protects and guides and is the bringer of gifts and news. So if this is like a dating situation. This could be someone that like their um, idea of showing affection or uh, what is it like the way that they show love is by gift giving, gift giving. And like this is someone that is very protective, like a very dominant masculine energy, like a kind of an emperor energy or whatever. Like, yeah. I heard a kingmaker. This could be so. Like, if this is a child, this could be like a male uh, child being birthed or created. It could be major changes in the home, you guys. Not could be. With these major arcanas and everything, there's major changes coming into the room, into the house. I just feel like on a professional front, there's a challenge that has something to do with your emotional integrity because. Regardless of what is done to you, you don't never want it to defame, like your actions to defame who you really are. And there's still something about you showing who you really are, but I feel like don't give people what they want. Because some people be doing certain things because they want you to act this way. They want you to embarrass yourself. They want you to... Do something to make yourself look ridiculous so they can say, I told you so. I told you they'd be acting like that. I told you this person was going to do that. I told you. You know what I'm saying? So don't give them what they say about you. Because you got so many blessings going on here. And it's something here, seriously, that these people are intimidated by your intelligence and your beauty group, number one. People are intimidated by your freaking intelligence and your beauty. So whip they ass in a beautiful, graceful, and professional fuck way and still collect and gather they motherfucking ass up. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And it's like, I got choices. I have choices. I'm still an apex predator, but I'm, I'm too blessed. I got so many new friends, so many connections, so many business opportunities that's coming to me. I don't even have to, you know what I'm saying? I really don't even. So it's like, you could... And I'm hearing again, it's like you're not doing what they want you to do. What they expect you to do, group number one. 
I feel like you're facing this challenge in a very mature, mature, mature way. You are really showing and demonstrating growth and maturity. And you're being blessed for it. I, I'm looking at this stork card. And I love how it's, the stork is at the seashore. It's a lot of calm. It's like calm waves. It's like your emotions are about to be very calm. And you're about to receive some news that is just going to change your whole atmosphere. It's going to change the dynamic of who you come home to, where you come home to, and how you were transporting to your house. There could be things that I feel like everything is changing. Everything is changing. And you can teach people. You can teach people. You're going to be a motivational speaker. You're going to show people how to deal with challenges with such a beautiful essence. So yeah, group number one, this was an amazing energy right here. It really was. You got, man, you got the lovers and the will of fortune. Really? Come on. Y'all let me know what's going down. Let me know what's going on in the comments, group number one. And please, if you are a uh, social media uh, guru and you do health, wellness, you do beauty, fashion, whatever, please plug your pages down in the comment section. Please, look, each one teach one. Y'all go follow their pages. Y'all go support, all right? Each one teach one. We got to support each other, man. Put y'all, plug y'all stuff down at the bottom. Plug y'all stuff down at the bottom, okay? <laughs> Stop being so aggressive, okay? Let God show you a new way to do with this challenge, baby. All right, group number one, I love you. Group number one, I love you. All right. Now, let's get into group number two. Group number two, what to do if you pick this bracelet, this bracelet, and the peacock or little crystal chunks here. Y'all see that peacock or I love it. I love it a lot. Me like it. It look like a man. Okay. Me like it. It look like a man. Okay. I am reloading. Okay. So you got the divine timing card. You got the otter. Otters are so freaking cute. They are so freaking cute. Oh, my goodness. You got the offering. Okay, bitch. Hello, group number two. Let me get a dollar. Let me borrow a dollar. I mean, well, let me put a little dollar up in. You know how your grandma put $5 out of the little titty. Let me, let me, let me get a dollar. Okay. You got the growing up. Come on now. Come on now. You got the high priestess. You got the three of pentacles. You got the clouds. It, it was, it's in reverse and I'm going to take it in the reverse too. Because normally I don't read my Lenorma cards in the reversals. But in regards to the clouds, we can definitely get rid of that. Okay? And then you got the sun. Listen, the cloudy days is over. The sun is here. Oh, baby, a new day is here. All right? We got a new dollar and a new day. Okay? Hello! We are reloaded. Come on, Jesus. Now, come on. I just got just. I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. We are reloaded. So, we got divine timing for my group number two. It says the divine brings things and timing that we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared, nor leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. Divine timing. Everything is right where it is. Right where it's supposed to be. Alright? Please be prepared. Alright? You got the otter spirit here. This is another water energy. I feel like with this otter spirit, you are like very playful. You like to have fun. I feel like you have a lot of friends. I feel like you like to travel in groups. You like to have a lot of people with you. Or you're very family oriented. Like you can have a very close relationship with your sisters and your brothers and your cousins. And I feel like you have a big group of people that you chill with and that you socialize with. 
like at work as well. I'm getting like a, 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 a like a connection, like or a following. And my eyes just went to the sand on my wall. I see abundance. I accept abundance. I am showered by unlimited blessings. I give thanks that this is so. Um, Nam ya ho, renge kyo. Like I used to say that every morning, like three times when I wake up. I see abundance. I accept abundance. I'm showered by unlimited blessings. I give thanks that this is so. Nam ya ho, renge kyo. Like my old best friend taught me that. I feel like you have an abundant heart. Like you are just very, very friendly. You're very giving. And I feel like that's why this offering and growing up is coming to you. Um, I don't know if this is. I feel like for my group number ones, like this may be what is coming to you. So maybe if you guys Group number one may need to watch group number two. So I, okay. Or group number two, you might need to go back and watch group number one because I feel like that's probably where you, oh, like you overcome that and now you're seeing the offer and now you're being gifted for growing up. You got the high priestess and the three of pentacles. Like you guys could be um, learning something, going back to school. You guys could have been going back to school, studying. Like it's like some type of group setting. But I feel like you guys have fun a lot. Like you might handle challenges in like a group task system. Like, okay, you do this, you do this, you do this. We'll meet on this day. We'll bring it all together. Y'all let me know if you need help, whatever, whatever. I feel like, I don't know, like you lead in some type of study group or something. Because the high priestess is all knowing. The high priestess, like... But she keeps a lot to herself. But there's some people that are under her tutelage right now. And it's like going like an understudy. I heard like some type of planning system. I feel like so I just heard someone could be going to school to learn how to... Um, Make some type of database planning system. Um, what are they called? Like, um, like a project management, like tracking system or something. Or maybe you guys may be using or need to use like a project management tracking system. Um, there was one I used to use. It was called um, Asana. Asana, and it's like a, um, it's like a share space, but it's. Again, like I said, you can assign tasks and uh, separate it by group. And then you can see where you guys are at in the timeline and all of that stuff. I heard like web developers, web, web developers or something like that. Something that has to do with, I don't know if you need to use this system or you're developing this system. But someone is showing you. You're in school, you're in some type of teaching, you're developing some type of understanding, but it's not just you, it's like other people. That's why I feel like you guys are at school or this is at work. Like you might be undergoing some new type of training for a new position. You guys might be getting a new job, a, a, a payment, promotion. Because the Three of Pentacles is like, yeah, I just came into a little bit of money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It might not be like a crazy, crazy increase. But, oh, it was nice for me because I just got me a nice little promotional increase and a nice little title change. And now I'm learning something. And it's like this person that you're learning this information from, they don't normally tell everybody. But this person really likes you because... I feel like you're a very bright student. Whoever this is in this group right here, your ability to pick up on things and learn things quickly. But it's like, why, why do I feel like you question yourself a lot? Like you, you always come to your teacher or 
someone always comes to you and i feel like you guys are learning something you guys are learning something and like maybe someone realized that, that i need to go back to school or something but someone is really enjoying learning someone is really enjoying being an understudy Whoever the high priestess is, looks at whoever the student is, it's like they're so precious because they always asking questions, but they already know the answer. So it's like, why are you always asking me? Because the high priestess, again, she's going to ask you to look in, into yourself before you come to her. You know, she tries to guide you to, to trust and use your own intuition. <laughs> the high priestess is a mess, but... The way she teaches you is by pushing you away sometimes because you know the answer. You know the answer. It's just you. It's like you just coming to me because you want to hear me tell you that you're right, but you know that you're right. Group number two, you know you're right. I heard that you were. Um, you are very humble and appreciate and, and appreciative of. Um, this financial advance that's coming to your life, I, 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 I for surely feel like there's been a financial increase for you because you got the sun and you got the offering. So it's like a new day, like the clouds, the rainy days is over. So like if you guys were going through any type of hardship, like those days of pain and suffering and you guys not receiving fair treatment or whatever the hell it is, like that shit is over. Like... It's over. And again, it's like springtime. It's about to be summer. You know, so it's about time to go outside and have fun and enjoy yourself and experience. Like, it's like you're so childlike and carefree. And it's like you don't have anything to worry about this group number two here. You don't. You don't at all. I feel like you're being celebrated for showing some level of maturity and gifts and things. I felt like it came... It was developed over time. It didn't come overnight. And again, like you just overcame some type of hurdle, some type of uh, blockage, some type of bullshit, you know. But it's like you learned not to cry over spilled milk. It's like you just have a different mindset. Like things happen. Let's just clean it up and enjoy the rest of our day. You know, it's the cup may have cracked, but we there's always new cups like it's. You don't take, it's not that you don't take life so seriously, but it's like, there's lessons in everything. You know, there's lessons and there's a gift in learning. There's a gift in learning. There's a gift in making mistakes sometimes because how else will you advance? How else will you learn how to survive? How else will, will you be challenged? If you sit there and cry over spilled milk, you'll never learn how to clean it up. And make it, you know, I... And make it look good like it never happened. How to piece it together or realize that this cup is too broken. Because some people are skilled, you know what I'm saying? Like they're real craftsmen that they know how to go and get the putty or whatever and re-piece that cup. But still, like after time, you'll... It, you'll be able to tell that it was a refurbished cup. So it's like, okay, I can show my skill set and show that I can make this better. Or I can just not waste the energy and just take my money that I'm blessed to have and just go buy a new one. You know, so it's something about you guys have gone through with this cloud energy right here. You guys have gone through so many different circumstances of life where you learn how to take things more lighter. It's like you're not letting anything take your happiness, your joy. And it's like you see things clearly with the sun. Um, you guys could be summer babies. You guys could be summer babies. I feel like you guys are going to have a very, very good, a very amazing um, end of the spring and the summer season. You guys are going to really start to enjoy life. Um, in a way that you've never experienced it before, group number two. Um, I want to read the uh, otter real quick. 
Let's see. The Otter. It says unobstructed joy, playfulness, contentment. <laughs> I didn't even know that it was going to say this. I didn't even know I was going to say this. Perhaps this is the most joyful creature within the animal spirit deck. I did not know. I didn't even know this. It says the otter represents absolute bliss. The otter energy is the playfulness of the child available to us at any age. They have a giddiness and a reverence for life itself without the presence of doubt, worry, or skepticism. Imagine yourself with a little more otter energy. What would it look like? What would it take to bring you there? The otter car begs you to ask yourself these questions and wants you to transport us to that, tra to that precious place as soon as possible. The celebration awaits. When in balance, you're full of love and needs nothing. When out of balance, gloomy sighs make silly excuses. To bring in balance, dance, party, or celebrate, baby. Come on now. And then you got the offering in growing up. Like, group two, you guys have just learned how to just... I just heard, like... Take life like shits and giggles. Like, literally, take life like shits and giggles. Like, sometimes certain shit happen, and you just got to laugh at it, take the lesson, and try to find the enjoyment out of life. Like, it's like, what's the point of us sitting here crying about things? You know what I'm saying? Learn a lesson. Be blessed that you survive. Take the wisdom and go and enjoy your fucking day. Like, I, I, I just, like, this group right here, I fucking love y'all. I fucking love y'all. And I feel like, again, y'all been through a lot. Because it takes someone to go through a lot of bullshit with these clouds in the reverse. You don't overcome a lot of shit for you to get here. But you're here. You're here. And then you got the offerings. Oh, my God. It says the universe will meet all of your needs. Consider having a money altar. Call upon your spirit guides and angels to assist you during this time. Baby, let me borrow a Zola. Let me get a Zola. Stop playing with y'all. You're being blessed because you're growing up. It's time to step up into your own power and stop engaging in childish qualities. Don't rely on others to help you and uh, take care of things for you. This message is yours to clean up. Avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all of the skills to make it on your own. So I feel like you guys... Oh, and she got a baby in her hand. She got a baby in her. I'm just realizing she got a little, little, little baby. Look at him in the little teddy bear outfit. Oh, 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 it's just so fucking cute. It's, only thing I can say, not crying over spilled milk. I cannot make people do anything. I'm going to take care of, like, everything is taken care of. Everything. And especially if you guys back in school and you learning something, look, this Three of Pentacles says teamwork, creativity, learning, apprenticeship. It might not be now, but as soon as you finish learning this, I already feel like you. someone just got, like, a pay increase, a pay raise or something. Intuitive, subconscious, inner voice, the third eye. It's like you knew, you know. And again with the high priestess, that means cycles. That means cycles. That means fertility as well. That means new birth with the sun. So, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if there's anyone preparing for a baby or anything like that. Like, there could be 
a lot of fertility here with the high priestess in the sun. Hmm. Or again, because I'm seeing this child here. I'm seeing this child here. I feel like you're go someone's growing up as well. It could be someone not relying on a baby because I feel like this could be a male's energy as well. It's like some man is not relying on the mother so much to help him on his weekends with the children or something like that. Like some man could be growing up and taking care of the responsibility and not being as reliant on his mother and or there's a woman that is not being as reliant on the child's father to help her with anything. It's like she got it. And she's going back to school. She's doing everything that she needs to make sure that she could create and produce a better lifestyle for herself. And this pay raise is nasty. Oh, baby. That's a nasty little coin that she just got up in her motherfucking bank account. And you might not be telling them about Oh, I don't, you're not telling nobody about this money. This little money that you just got? This little pay raise? I feel like you might still even be living your life as normal as you was and stacking your money and putting that shit to the side. Like, you might be hiding your savings or even, like, you might not even be telling people that you're going to school. You might not even be talking to people or like that for real, for real. But you're thoroughly enjoying what you're doing. And a lot of shit is coming to you because you're growing up and you're taking responsibility for your shit. So you're being blessed, honey. You are being blessed. And you are highly responsible. Like, people really, really trust you. People really trust you, group two. So congratulations to you. And enjoy yourself and have fun. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself right now. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself for me. Ain't that Michael Jeff and Michael Jackson and them? Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself for me. Okay? Listen. Oh, why I just heard, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know the words. That's the only part I know. Ain't no sunshine when it gone. When it gone. That's all I know, baby. But listen, I know, I know, I know. Look, I know this girl don't give a fuck because she on. <laughs> she don't give a shit. I don't know. There might be somebody that's missing you, group number two. Wherever that, that dark cloud, whatever that, because there was some type of blockage or something that was getting in the way of a lot of your major blessings. And again, for someone, I could feel like this could be someone's child's father or the child's mother, because there are men that watch this too. And there's a man that there could be the fact that their mother be getting into a lot of their shit. You know what I'm saying? So... Because there was something being said about taking some type of financial responsibility. So, I feel like if there's a masculine energy that was in that group that needed to hear that message, they may be stepping out of the mother's shadow, stepping from up under her skirt tail, and stepping up as a man and doing what he needs to do. Um, so, yeah. All in divine timing. But, yeah, you guys, group number two, you guys can really enjoy yourself and have more fun now. You can really, really live life. Really, really live life in the way that you want to. And celebrate yourself. Group two, celebrate yourself. Again, celebrate thine self. You deserve it. Okay? Shout out to you. All right? Okay. We are reloaded. Group number three. What it be, baby? If you picked this beautiful sun stone bracelet, do y'all see how beautiful... This bracelet, can y'all see all of the little crystals and glimmers? Y'all see how it just be dancing? Be seeing how the diamonds be dancing? How that gold be dancing up in that thing there? Look at that. Look at that thing there. Look at that thing there. Okay. I am reloaded. If, if you picked that beautiful bracelet... Number one, I just want to say, baby, I feel like you like fine diamonds. Di oh, fine diamonds. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you like fine diamonds. 
You like that good shit. You like that good quality shit. And I love the way this beautiful crystal looks as well. I'm so mad that I chipped it right there. I'm so mad. I don't even know what the hell the name of this is. But it's beautiful. I feel like you... Oh, I heard you have a unique responsibility. But I feel that you... You like fine dime... I'm about to say fine diamonds again. You like fine diamonds. Maybe diamonds, that could be your name. Maybe that could be your favorite jewelry to wear. You only wear diamonds and real diamonds. Like it's not even just real diamonds. You have to have like a certain quality of like flawless diamonds. Like you could be like spoiled. You could like get whatever you want most of the time. Um, I heard you got that rich girl mentality. I just heard, look at the cards, it's going to make sense. Okay, whatever. I, it says, make it gods. Oh! <laughs> it says, make it gods. You got the hyena girl. You got the high fucking hyena. I, you a fucking hilarious. But there's two sides to you, motherfucker. And I don't think people need to play the fuck with you. They don't they do not need to play with you. Cause people may be thinking it's a game. But it's not. I feel like with this gold stone here, and the way that you carry yourself, I feel like you might be and like you might wear like a lot of animal fur, cheetah print, like stuff like that. You are very fancy and high class and sedity. But you have a lot of personality. I feel like a lot of people have positive things to say about you. But what they don't know that's hitting way back in the Maybach. Like you will smack the dog shit out of somebody real. Like do not let that, that cute shit fool you. You got the transporter. And unclear. You got the two wands. And the fool. Didn't I tell you people think that you funny? You're a risk taker, but I don't think you're about to take this risk. Well, I feel like someone could be a drug dealer. Low key. I'm so sorry. I don't even mean to do that. Well, I feel like you got the dog and then you got the mountain. Oh, I just heard I got to carry this load on the load with your companion. Y'all, I'm sorry why well, I'm getting drug dealer energy. I'm, I definitely got another message, but I feel, I'm going to keep it 100. And it make it gods. I feel like there could be a celebrity comedian that this person is funny. But in regards to this particular celebrity, they funny, but they not that funny. They funny, but they not that funny. Or at least not anymore. They not as funny as they used to be anymore. I honestly think that that comedian job is a front for some type of smuggling or something. Like there's like, with this hyena, the transporter, and unclear. I'm so sorry. And I, I'm really getting some bad energy about this load or whatever it is that you're having to take over this mountain. Because it's like with the full the two bonds in this, in this mountain, it's like you about to take, or somebody's about to take a risk. But with that two bonds, it's like you second guess it, like something don't feel right. It's like... Someone getting some type of bad energy with this. It's like, I don't know if I should go over there. I don't know. It's like something ain't making sense to me or something don't feel right. Or something. Like, I'm going to tell you this. If the timing don't seem right. Because I heard something ain't moving as fast as it used to move. 
or used to do. It's like something would it be here right now. But I feel like someone's sitting here waiting for something. It's like so-and-so would have been here by now. Like what the fuck is going on? Like something just going to feel weird as shit. It's going to feel weird as shit. If this like a drug smuggler or something, somebody in some type of, it's, it's, some information is going to be unclear and it's going to halt you in wanting to take that risk in going. Because with this full car, it's still someone taking a risk in going out on faith. But you're going to you're going to experience some type of hurdle or whatever with this mountain. There's going to be a blockage. There's going to... I don't see you making it safely to the other side. And I feel like you got some companion with you. It's like someone that you think is your friend or whatever. And whoever this is, it's like... And I'm so sorry because I don't know who be watching me shit. Maybe some drug dealers are watching me the fuck. I done told y'all. I, I, I always be picking up on a motherfucker drug dealer in my readings from time to time. Whenever I be doing these collective readings or whenever I used to do the Zodiac sign readings. It's always in the Taurus reading. I would get like shit about drug dealing or underlife Aquarius readings. It would be always some alpha. It would. Or some like someone running a cult or some crazy shit. Um, Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Cancer. Y'all always be having like some damn. Y'all always be having some fucking underworld ass shit. And I'm like, who the fuck am I reading for, bro? Transporter, unclear. And it's like these people think. I feel like this is a comedian. This is someone that is extremely funny. Like, you're a character. Like, you're always playing around or something like that. Like, I feel like no one would really think that you have this other side to you that you be doing this shit on the love like you are like one way in the daytime but in the nighttime like you this whole totally different person it's like you may just be using this industry as a front it's like to substitute your income so that you could do this like or just I really feel Okay, so let's just skip out all of this drug dealer shit because, like, you said making gods, but I don't think none of this shit got nothing to do with God. And maybe God is trying to tell you, Papito, you need to stop doing this, Papito. Papito! Papito! Hey! Papito! Hey! Hey! Do not take this risk. I'm not to do not do this because you're going to go, you and your dumb ass friend. Somebody doing some shit trusting your fucking friend or whatever. Don't do it. Don't do it. You don't have to do these. Because it's like God is like, what you think I give you this talent and this gift for? You're naturally gifted. You're naturally, you know what I'm saying? I just heard like people will follow you anywhere. It's like someone has a following. I just heard think first before you act. Think first before you act. I heard that you drifting away into your circumstances. Damn, what the fuck is your circumstances? It's a stuck at home. Indecision, delayed plans, fear of change. Unclear. Money is either tight or not receiving what you expected. The answers you are seeking will remain unclear for now. Your basic needs will be met. Transporter. This card is a good... <coughs> like... <coughs> God damn. Alright, I'm still going to say what I want to say. Damn, don't be trying to choke me, motherfucker. It says, 
this card is a good indicator that things will start moving for you rather quickly. A career in transportation such as travel, driving, or shipping could appeal to you. You could travel for work or perhaps you need to take actions on a financial matter. Like I said, somebody's doing this shit because they feel like they have to do it. It's like somebody's taking some type of fucking risk. Somebody is about to take some fucking risk like trusting a friend or something like that. I don't know why you trust this motherfucker so much. Like, but they gonna go down right with your ass. And you better hope that they don't snitch on you too. Anyway, it says make it God's. Release the idea of my. As soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. When there is no grasping, the right action is shown. Free me from the prison of my dear Lord. Oh, that's the answer. It's like you can have access to what you want, but it's like you trying too hard or you willing to do stupid things to get to it. Well, only thing you got to do is change your request to God and you can have it. God don't like that word, my. My money, my home, my this, my... Nah, God don't like that. As soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. I like, and I'm not even about to change this energy of this message because I, because I promise you, like, it's something that somebody's about to do, and God's trying to tell you, don't do it, do not do this shit, bro. Because you're gonna be in it by yourself. I don't trust this friend, like. You might have known this person for a long motherfucking time, but I'm trying to tell you, you, you about to overcome a hurdle. You about to, you and your friend about to make a fucking mistake. Why do you think, if some shit is unclear, if there's a delay, if something don't feel right, take that as God's signal to you to go the other way. Do not, t listen, if you take that fucking risk, you are going to oh god let me read to you what the mountains say just in case you might think the mountains is not a good car baby like there is going to be something that's going to happen in in root that is going to stop you it's going to stop you dead in your motherfucking tracks you ain't going to get too far at all some shit might be a fucking set look and i come right to the fucking mountain it says the mountain. The mountain card represents the obstacle that may be standing in the way of your goal or your objectives. There may be a formidable challenge you need to face or problems you must solve before progression can be made. Unavoidable delays will have to be dealt with. The mountain may represent a physical obstacle or mental one. You may face resistance from others or from within yourself. Paralyzing fear or lack of confidence may be holding you back. Yet sheer will is not the way past the mountain. Once you accept that you've hit a wall, you can begin to formulate a new approach and create a solution to resolve the situation. There's a way forward, but they may still entail stepping back and starting over. Keywords, challenges, obstacles, delay, resistance, limitation. Child, you ain't got to believe me. But like I said, hard head, make a soft ass, group number three. I am so sorry to be the bearer of this news. I don't know who the fuck doing this. But I feel like you don't have to do this this way, man. You really do not have to do this this way. And I, I feel like you're very talented and you're very funny. You're very funny. But it's like there's some like dark side to you where it's like you'll do you let me read this down. Hot Hina chair. Let me find it. Find it, Hot Hina. 
girl. About to do something stupid. If I let the, let your friend talk you into doing something stupid, you're going to regret. I promise you. Where is this hyena at? Girl. About to have me fucking worried about y'all. The hyena. It says humor. With sarcasm. The hyena perso personality is a jokester. And a crowd pleaser. But below the surface, there is unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the hyena car appears, it is time to reflect on your uh, reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Are you using jokes to hide old resentment in a relationship or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable dis discussing? What would happen if you took your goals seriously? When in balance, charming, witty, fun... And fun to be around when out of balance scrappy petty and suspicious to bring in balance sobriety mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry group number three like I don't know who the fuck this is this is just like someone is is it's like something that they're doing is a fucking front the cover up that they in the drug in this industry or they, they doing something illegal. If you get any fucking delays, if you if something don't make sense and something don't feel right, group number three, I'm begging you. Go the other fucking way. Now oh God, you know what I just seen in my fucking head. Um Colodro. Colodro. Colodro from freaking um what is it the Bronx Tales? Is it the Bronx Tales? When well, he was about to get in that damn car with his friends and his friends ended up dying. And they getting they ended up getting burnt up in that car. Oh god. Jesus, hold on, let me come. Come on now, hold on. I gotta bring this down a little harder. I'm so sorry, y'all. Hold on. Mm -mm. I'm so sorry for y'all ears. I'm so sorry. Honey, mm-mm. Child, no ma'am. No ma'am, Miss Pam. I do not like green eggs and ham. I don't like that. I don't even like that somebody even feel like they need to go and do something like that. And it's like you're using your freaking gift to front the way. Because it's like you're using, because you move a lot. In the industry that you work in, the cover up that you're trying to make extra money. I don't know if you're not making as much money as you should be making, being a comedian or doing whatever it is that you're doing. But I, I, I God, why y'all stressing me out, y'all? Y'all are stressing me the fuck out. I don't have to pull out my goddamn dragon blood, goddamn cone shit. Cause y'all, y'all ain't about to be stressing me out. The hell, the hell. I'm so sorry, group number four. I'm going to give you some more, but baby, give me a second, because I need to... <laughs> baby! Y'all not going to be stressing me the fuck out up in here. No, oh, ma'am. And I know y'all like, if this bitch ring this bell one more motherfucking time, I'm going to reach through this goddamn screen and crack her on her forehead, and y'all ain't going to be trying to fight me. Y'all is not. Mm -mm. All right, group number four. Let's get into a pooty poots. What's up, pooter? What's up, Pooda? What's up, Pooda Poodas? All right, with your snowflake onyx. Isn't it snowflake onyx? Yes, I believe this is a snowflake onyx. Crystal bracelet. It's a snowflake onyx crystal bracelet. Okay. We'll reload it. Come on, group number four. Let's get some more, baby. I feel like group number four. Number one. Oh, I heard stand down. I heard stand down, honey. Stand down. You listen. Group number four. Oh, I heard. <laughs> I heard that you about to formulate the blueprint. Like, you about to show people how to do this real quick. Stand down. I just heard, let the professionals show motherfuckers how to do this. And I, I'm, my eyes just going to this eagle. I just got this from my, um, 
mystery bag from Crystal Fox. If y'all are in the DMV area, make sure that y'all go to uh, Crystal Fox out in Laurel, Maryland and get y'all a mystery bag and tell them Scorpion Red sent you. Okay, bitch, we are reloaded. It's a whole bunch of beautiful shit in there, okay? Yes, ma'am. I feel like y'all are soaring right now. I feel like vocally, you're very outspoken right now. But stand down. Stand down. Don't tell these bitches nothing. Protect your voice. Protect your choice, girl. Protect your voice. Protect your choice, girl. Yes. Not to be bouncing all on these niggas' foreheads. Okay, girl? Don't even say shit no more. Just show people the blueprint. Show people the motherfucker. I'm just about to show these hoes how to do this shit. Fuck talking. I'm done talking to bitches. Group number four said I am done talking to these dust bucket ass hoes. Y'all dust bunnies. Y'all real funny. Y'all dust bunnies. And y'all real funny. Girl. The fuck on. Y'all see all these beautiful. I believe these are Cornelians. These are Cornelians. These are Cornelians. Okay. Okay. Look a pleasantly peach. Well I feel like y'all got a big booty like Judy. And some big old titties. And big old titties. Now big old titties. Well I feel like this group is very voluptuous. Very voluptuous. And I oh, and it's like because it's springtime and stuff. Y'all like to wear teals, oranges, yellows, like pretty grape colors. Like you like to accentuate yourself with like a lot of like accessories and jewelry. Like whatever you got on, you could literally just have on a wife beater and some and some regular twenty dollar jeans. But baby, what I'm trying to tell you that you don't went and got you some costume jewelry and you don't look, you got the necklaces, you got the bracelets, you got the earrings, girl, you got the hats, your your little shoes. Now your shoes is expensive, okay? Your shoes is expensive, but whatever you got draped across your shoulders is expensive. But all of that stuff on your necklace, I mean you might have paid a couple of dollars for a couple of them, but a lot of the shit is like you just know how to put that shit on. Group number four, y'all know how to put that shit on. Y'all, okay. Okay. I feel like y'all is about to, y'all is about to, and then you got charity. Come on. And then you got the B, and then you got the voice, and so, The fuck? The fuck? to get these hoes charity okay y'all can come work for me i'm gonna show y'all how i'm gonna show listen uh, someone said let me do 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 am i talking to myself am i talking to myself let me speak it to the mic a little bit more because y'all because y'all need to hear a boss y'all need the blueprint it's a certain science to this shit and you got the knight of pentacles you got the lady in the tree Growth in abundance, that shit is all on you. You be showing people how to put that shit on. You feel good, you smell good, you look good. I heard booty. Baby, your check is your checkbook is fucking increasing. I heard that shit is thick like grits and baby is thick. Whatever it is, it is thick like grits and it's thick. Whatever it is that you are doing is blossoming and it's growing. You have very, very healthy, lucrative finances going on right now. You are busy as a bee. You have so much that you can give to people and you don't mind helping and giving people opportunities, all right? So you may be keeping yourself busy. Like, you, it, it's so much shit growing on. I feel like you may need help. So you may get an assistant soon. Or, yeah, I feel like you may be giving someone an opportunity. Um, I heard a free game. I 
feel like you may be given some like a learning opportunity like an apprenticeship or something but i feel like it's free like i don't feel like you were paying people to do this but it's going to bless them in the long run it's like it's like a charitable opportunity it's like so whoever this is has a very has a very visible business like i said you could be in media um science you could be a developer of some type of something whatever it is you have a lot of people working for you like you create something and it's like you patent it's like the blueprint you Like, you could be a product developer or something. Like, you create serums and formulas or something. And whatever it is that you design, you give the blueprint to people for them to follow, to mass produce something. So, again, you have a lot of people working for you. And it's an opportunity of a lifetime. I want to say, like, you may take on, like, four interns at a certain time of the year like maybe around spring summertime or whatever like you take a spring or summer intern or whatever um i don't feel i mean it it is a paid internship but it's not making like a whole lot of money it's more about the connections and the opportunity and the experience that they're going to gain and as well depending on how well they work it could turn into a full-time opportunity for somebody I feel like there's going like some certain people are going to be let go soon in this position or in this role or at this business or something like that. So it's going to make room for new workers. But there's some people that had to be let go. Because the Knight of Pentacles here, like they don't believe in. They believe in slow money. They rather get slow money than no money. I want to take my time to make sure that things are right. So there might be certain people that was on this person's develop developers team that I feel like because the money didn't come right away, they might have got antsy and got frustrated and might have uh, jumped ship. But that is more room and more opportunity. So I can give this opportunity to someone that I really should give this opportunity to it's like whoever this is it's like i'm not tripping on anybody who wanted to leave like you know what i'm saying because this opportunity is better suited for someone that understand that great things take time and patience and it may not you may not get paid right now but if you stick with it you are going to be so financially secure you know it's like an evergreen tree. It's it's always in bloom. It's always in season. And again, I feel like fashionably, whoever this woman is, she's always the fucking season. She always got that shit on. But you can afford to do so because you have accumulated a substantial amount of money because you understand that everything does not that is worthwhile does not come quickly to you like this is someone that could be well studied well traveled you know it's really going places but this is not a fast mover this is not someone that just jumps on the first opportunity like they really do their research they take their time they look over the language in the contract they not just signing anything you see that son up there they want to see clearly what it is that they're doing you know i feel like this person is extremely bright extremely bright and is traditionally happy all of the time you don't see this person being mean or upset or being not fulfilled in life like this person really does take their time and they like to appreciate and enjoy the fruits of life you know so there could be an offering Cause I always look at the the Knight of Pentacles like it's an opportunity that is coming your way that 
you might have waited for for a long time. And I feel like maybe certain people had to show their resistance or that they weren't brave enough to keep going. There's somebody that was like wasn't brave enough to continue or to complete a task or something. It's like someone just dropped off of the face of the existence. And it's like you are continuing the mission or something like that. Or there's somebody that has a better opportunity is uh, more suitable for continuing this this mission than these other people. It could have been several people that just got let go in a um at an organization or something. I just heard it's like a charitable charitable opportunity for someone that really deserves it. It says charity. Let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. Something ain't clear. I heard like someone's not understanding why something isn't happening right now because there's a root system that has to be developed first. Like there has like there's a development plan. Like the tree can only grow as big and as tall and as strong as the root system beneath it. You might see that tree, but that root system may be a half a mile down the damn road. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? It's deeper than what you think. So it's like someone may not understand how a succession plan goes. It's like you start here and you move here to get here, to get here, to get here. And throughout the way, you're constantly learning and growing and you're developing skills, tasks, and a, represent, and, and, and a reputation that you will be rewarded for. But I can't just pay you or give you this title and this role or this sense of responsibility straight out the door. Just like you got to start somewhere. So this is about somebody working their way up. Hmm. You got to be here. Hmm. Let's see what the B says. I'm just seeing that. Wait, wait, wait. I really wish that this had numbers on it. So you can know what page you go to. It says the B. Um Ernest, hard working, democratic. The B personality is a delight to be around, especially when there's a team project on the horizon. Bs love to work steadily and thoroughly until the final task is complete. They are sensitive creatures, aware of many uh, subtles, um, subtleties. I'm sorry, at once. Since they are artists at heart, they usually add creative details to the overall vision. For the most part, they have bustling, joyful personalities until they are too tired from all of the work. Then they gripe and then sting. <laughs> when in balance, content, active, and vibrant. When out of balance, overworked or annoyed. To bring into balance a mini vacation. I like that. I definitely like that. So. Yeah, it's like somebody. Like the work is going to pay off in the long run. So. But there's somebody. Whoever the leader is. Like the person that I was seeing. That be putting that shit on and everything. Like that is the boss. And. I really feel that it's somebody that is in a leadership opportunity here that 
is about to let a group of people go because they don't have the tenacity and the ability to be able to see a task through to fruition. And this opportunity is going to be given to more suitable people. Like there's going to be a letdown, but it's a group of people that's involved with this. It's like a few people. It's not just one person. There's a few people that are going to be let go and the organization is going to be repositioned. Like they're going to be a restructuring of the organization. There's going to be an opportunity that's going to be given to new players. New players. I don't even feel like they even have to have like a whole boatload of work skills or anything like that. Like it's like on the job training. Like only thing you have to do is just show me that you have the ability to work and that you're not a quitter. And that you're not a quitter. Because it has to be shared space. Because you see one person over here is the media person, is the marketing person, and then you have the person that is the development team. So it's a team effort. But I can't have my developers over here busting their ass and the marketing team is not going out there marketing what we're putting our blood, sweat, and tears in and it's not reaching the people that we needed to reach. I need a strong marketing team. And I really feel like it's the marketing team that's going to be like, oh, because remember I bought this up. Baby, this is Lapis Lazuli, baby. Your voice chakra has to soar. You know, you see that the, the ego, like it has to soar. I feel like that's why I looked at that. It's making so much sense to me. And it's like you got to put that shit on. It got to have flavor. It got to have style. You, This woman wants to see growth and longevity. It doesn't have to like be traction. And we don't need to have all of the attraction and attention right now. But we want to see developmental growth. We want to see it growing. We want to see that you put more attention and passion into it. Because with that night of that night of pinnacles, it's like someone is like really dedicated. Because the night of pinnacles is not going to start something that they are not going to finish and see success in. They're not even going to date someone that they that they feel like that it's not going to uh, amount into a relationship. Like why would I even waste my time? Do you understand what I'm saying? So. This group here is like, I'm going to give you something for a lot in return for you, but it's up to you. It's your opportunity. You know, don't give somebody else your opportunity when it's yours, you know. So anyway, we got the voice card. It says, get your message heard and get noticed. You have much to share with the world. Consider careers in radio, public relation, or anything in communication. The only thing holding you back is your inability to speak your truth. So this person, I feel like uh, on a leadership le level, you need to lead your group. And if it's time to let certain people go, it's time for you to let certain people go. Like, get, get rid of the wasted energy. Like, don't. Think, think about your principles. Your principles is that Knight of Pentacles shit. I am not going to sit here and be paying people that is not going to work hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to pay people for no results. And that's just bottom line. I'm getting Virgo energy. High level Virgo energy. Like the fuck. High level Virgo energy. The fuck. Okay, we got science. There is something unfolding for you. Uh, work within. Hold on. Mm, child, here we go with this third grade ass reading. Okay. There is something unfolding for you. Work within an open mind. Work with an open mind. Consider careers in science or any job that unravels the mysteries of the universe. Apply a scientific approach to your business or financial problem. Again, I'm hearing web developer too. 
maybe you need to get someone to help you start your own database too. That could have been like something that you dropped. Somebody dropped something and it's like they need to pick it up, pick it back up. Because it's like you almost finished it. It's like you need to pick back up and see it through to fruition. Like carry it through. Carry it through. Like you, you will see the success the growth and reward like carry it through but some someone's i'm sorry someone lost the opportunity someone getting rid of somebody some boss is getting rid of you okay and if you the boss they saying i'm about to get rid of you and i'm about to find me some new workers because i don't have time for that bullshit i really don't have time for that bullshit and it's like i with this charity it's like i have to give but I'm more selective of who I'm going to give it to I'm gonna start this opportunity off small and I'm gonna see because it's like if you give someone an opportunity and even though you might not be paying them no money now this is something that you could put on like this is an opportunity to work for a fortune 500 company and to develop an amazing amount of skills that you could carry with you through life. And if you want to turn your nose up to it and say that I don't want this opportunity just because it's not paying me no money right now. But it's an internship that a lot of people would pray for. And those are the type of people we don't want in our organization. So. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the love portion of the reading. Okay, let's get into the love portion of the reading. Let's get into the good stuff, shall we? Come on now. Sha la la. Sha la la. So, let's see who is crushing on you. All right, so we got our group number one. If you picked this bracelet to find out who is crushing on you, this is your reading. All right, and this is. Um, What's it called? Ryanite and Desert Rose. All right. So let's get into this. Let's find out who has been crushing on you, who has intentions for you, and what the hell they want. What they trying to do with you, group number one. Group number one, you got the yarn. Okay, little bad little putty cat. You got the yarn. You got the magnifying glass. Okay. And you got the snowflake. I believe you the group that got that extra card out of everybody. Because everybody else got two of these cards and you ended up with three. This magnifying glass concerns me. What's going on? Oh. And then the yarn said, oh, says tangled up problems, complicated circumstances, all tied up, conundrum, staring along, puzzled, hassles, unrivaling, unraveling. Wow. And a magnifying glass. Get more information, clarity, very important details. Do research, document, examine the fine print. Larger than life. I wish y'all could see the way I just looked up at that camera. The snowflake says perfect, delicate, coded, fragile, patterns, symmetry, precise, handle carefully, crystalline, exquisite design, exquisite in detail. Ooh, so it's some shit unraveling, you guys. Ooh, it's some shit unraveling. Let me find. Okay, let's get on. Let's get all the talk cards on the table. You got the steak. Oh, this is somebody hearty. Ooh, this is some McGurk. This is some meaty. Okay. You got this person got green eyes. And the age range is between 18 and 26. Oh, but shit unraveling. Like, I feel like you finally starting to see the truth. You got the page of inspiration and the queen of materials. They look at you as your very abundant 
I feel like this is someone that wants to be very sexual with you. Very sexual with you. This could be like a um, LGBTQIA situation. I heard that this person thinks it, it's something mysterious about you. I feel like you're young. I feel like you could be younger than this person. I feel like whoever this is in group one, you could be dating someone that is older than you. So if they're saying that this age range of this person is from 18 to 26, like they're in a, you know, older, well, the mid to upper 20s. Or possibly you are the queen of materials. It feels like you're very, very approachable. You have a very nurturing and just earthy spirit about you. I feel like you always smell good. They see like the 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 queen of pentacles is someone that they look at as someone that they could spend a long time with in a relationship like you would be a good mother you would be a good leader you would be a good like home keeper or something you would be someone that they could bring home they're very attracted to you i see with these cats here and things like you're very mysterious it's a lot of things of 